Welcome to the Pharmacist's Voice Podcast, Episode 215. I am the host, Kim Newlove. This is one of my drug name pronunciation episodes. We have two drug names today. They are Mifepristone and Misoprostol. They've both been frequently mispronounced in the news this year, so they get the spotlight today. How do these pronunciation episodes work? I break down drug names into syllables. Then I explain which syllable or syllables has the emphasis, reveal the source of the information, and then put the written pronunciations in the show notes on thepharmacistvoice.com so you can see them and use them right away. The purpose of these pronunciation episodes is to provide the intended pronunciations of drug names from reliable sources so that you feel more confident saying them and less frustrated learning them. I hope this episode helps. Let's dive in. Let's talk about mifepristone first. Mifepristone has four syllables. Mif, which rhymes with cliff. I, which sounds like either a short E sound or a schwa E sound. Pris, like pristine. And tone, like muscle tone. Put it all together and you get mifepristone. Which syllables get the emphasis? There are two syllables. Mif and pris get the emphasis. Pris gets the most emphasis. See if you can hear it when I say it slowly. Mifepristone. Mifepristone. The second drug name today is misoprostol. Misoprostol also has four syllables. My, as in my name is Kim. So, as in a needle-pulling thread, I stole that one right from the sound of music. All right, and time out. When you say the drug name quickly, misoprostol, this syllable sounds like su, like supper, instead of so, like a needle-pulling thread. So. Either way is fine. Let's keep going. Pros, like prostate, and toll, like Toledo. Let's do that one more time. My, as in, my name is Kim, so, like a needle-pulling thread, so, or su, like supper, either one's fine, pros, like prostate, and toll, like Toledo. Put it all together and you get misoprostol. Which syllables get the emphasis? Two syllables get the emphasis in this drug name as well. My and pros get the emphasis. Pros gets the most emphasis. See if you can hear it when I say it slowly. Misoprostol. Misoprostol. How did I know how to say mifepristone and misoprostol? First of all, both drug names are generic. And generic drug names you're going to find in the USP Dictionary Online. What is the USP Dictionary Online, you might be thinking? It is a subscription-based online reference. What's so special about that? Why do I go to that? Well, it is my favorite reference for generic or non-proprietary drug names. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me today to learn how to say mifepristone and misoprostol. To find the show notes for this episode, go to thepharmacistvoice.com, click on the podcast tab, and search for episode 215. In the show notes, you'll find the written pronunciations of both drugs, Mifepristone and Misoprostol, a link to the USP Dictionary online, my social media links, and more. If you know someone who needs to hear this episode, please share it with them. And if you like this podcast, please subscribe to or follow the Pharmacist Voice podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. Next Friday, May 12th, is my interview with Michelle Mosier, PharmD. She is a patient advocate and the founder of Hope Health Advocacy, which you can find at hopehealthadvocacy.com. Thanks for listening today. I'll talk to you next week.